Alright, what is up? This right here is going to be a Frank West tutorial. We'll hopefully give you all the information you require to hit the ground running to learn this character. Uh, just to get this out of the way, in regards to his assists, use the shopping cart. No other reason to use any of these other assists. Just use shopping cart. So with that out of the way, let's outline the basic game plan I have here to talk about. The first thing I'm going to talk about is his leveling up mechanic, you know, how he gets experience, uh, how much experience he needs to get to each level, all that good stuff. After that, I will go through all the things he has at each level. You know, starting out at level 1, I'll go through all the tools he has. Then I'll level him up to level 2. And I'll discuss all the new things he's gotten now at level 2. And I'll go all the way up through level 5 for all that. After all of that information, I will go on to discuss the various uh, ways other characters have of being on point to either DHC into Frank or bring Frank in in some fashion to level him up effectively so you don't have to rely on level 1 Frank, who is a pretty bad character. To get, the, to get that experience. Um, and then kind of like as an extension of that, I guess, I'll discuss kind of like team building a little bit around Frank, but there's really, I mean, all that you really need is a, a, an effective way to get him leveled up. And after that, once he's leveled up, he doesn't really need anything in particular. However, let's just go ahead and get started here. So, experience. As you can see, at the top left next to Frank's character portrait, you see that level one. Um, he can level up to level five. And to get that experience, you have to take pictures by doing this quarter circle forward S move. As you see, I just took a picture. The amount of experience you get is judged by how many hits you currently have in the combo. So we just got one experience point right there. It was just a one hit combo. We got one experience point. So he needs five experience points to get to level two. So let's go ahead and do a four hit combo here. And he just got to level, uh, level two. Five experience. The thresholds are five experience to get to level two, 20 to level three, 50 to level 4 and 100 to level 5. The experience is cumulative as well, so it's not, it doesn't like reset, like, okay, now I need 20 more experience to get to level 3 at this point. It's just, I need 20 experience overall. So I already have 5, I need 15 more, etc. Pretty simple concept. Uh, he also has a way in which he can double the amount of experience points he gets per camera shot. It's by doing his down, down, S move like that. He takes a drink, as you can see, the camera flashed. And now I'll just do a three hit combo. And as you can see, the camera flashes for longer as well, and he leveled up with only a three hit combo. Because he got six experience there. However, as you see right there, eventually he throws up, as you are likely to do after one beer. Anyway, he throws up, he's, a, he's very vulnerable during that. He can be hit during that. So it's quite easy to punish that. Very easy. And like I said, there are just there are just gimmicks upon gimmicks to level him up that don't require the use of that move at all, so you really shouldn't use it because you don't want to be using stuff that can give your opponent a free combo. So that's how you level him up. That's all the information you need in regards to that. So let's go through all the tools he has. Now, why did I say Frank is a bad character? Let's go with that first at level one. That is because he has a very hard time getting it. He doesn't really have any uh, tools to move forward and get in. He just has, like, you know, a fairly run-of-the-mill wave dash it's decent but it's not great but his jump trajectory is even worse like look at that. he just has barely any momentum whatsoever to his jumps so that's really not gonna help you at all like if he gets hit by any move at all he probably just got pushed back further than he got he went forward so obviously that's a little unfortunate um so that's part of the reason why is because he has a really hard time getting in on somebody on top of that, once he does get in, he doesn't really have any mix-up. Like, he doesn't really have any fast cross-up mix-up. As you saw, like, with his jump, you would think from about right here, he'd cross Strange up, right? Nah. Strange says nah. That's the same thing with most characters. Like, Strange is a very tall character, so it's a little hard to use him effectively. But now we got Phoenix, right? From right about here is about where he'll start crossing up. Anywhere, like, further back, like right here, he shouldn't cross up. This is, I mean, look out, that's just like another person, another character right in between them. That's it, and he still won't cross them up. There are also characters in the game with hitboxes that are wide enough, or tall enough, just either or, that he cannot cross up, period. Sentinel, whether crouching or standing, Sentinel's hitbox is so wide that Frank just can't jump over him at all, unless you do a super jump. So, that's part of the reason. I mean, there's a, he has no cross up mix-up, no left-right mix-up. He also does not have any high-low mix-up, but that is because, you know, there are a bunch of characters that uh, don't have, you know, like a fast crouching light low attack. Their crouching light is not considered a low attack. Frank is one of them. However, his crouching medium is also not a low attack. His crouching heavy is the only low attack he has. 
which, you know, a lot of other characters like Nova and MODOK are pretty infamous for this by people just saying, oh, block high against those characters and you'll be fine. Like, despite the fact that people say that and they're entirely wrong, <laughs> um, there's just, they have, they have the threat of other mix-up. Nova has, you know, obviously like his half-screen slide, his crouching heavy is pretty fast as well. But he has the constant threat of his instant overhead to keep you honest. MODOK can set up self-unblockables, and he also has extremely fast instant overheads. That's kind of redundant, but whatever. They just have the threat of other mix-up to keep people scared. Frank doesn't have that. He doesn't have any instant overheads. He doesn't. He just has that crouching low. So if he's on the ground, there is no reason to block anything but low. When he's in the air, there is no reason to block anything but high. Um, so that's why it's like even once he does get in, there's just really no reason to get a hit. Now he does have good normals, as you can see, his normals actually have pretty damn good range. Uh, the only problem with them is that again, there's just no mix-up involved with them. So as long as the person is like respecting the fact that Frank has decent normals in the first place. There's really no reason to get a hit with Frank. But anyway, so all that aside, let's go through his various special moves that he has. Um, actually, I guess we can just do the hypers first. So the first one is the shopping cart. It is mashable, so you can get more hits, more damage, etc. Uh, it is very slightly projectile and vulnerable at the very beginning, so if you just want like a quick way to blast through some zoning, that can potentially do it. However, it's only the shopping cart's hitbox that is invulnerable Frank himself. I actually am not 100% sure on this, but I'm fairly certain that Frank himself is not. It's just like the shopping cart will absorb some projectiles. Um, so, like, if the projectile is far enough that it'll hit Frank before the shopping cart comes out, you'll still get hit out of it. Uh, his other one that he has at the moment is his quarter circle back one. This is, I mean, it's just, it's what you see is what you get. There's no special properties to it. It's, that's, that's it. Um... So yeah, so those are his hypers. So now his special moves. You have his quarter circle forward moves called Tools of Survival. It's depending on which button you hit, you get a different um, tool. So the first one is you do the light one, it has a plunger. Um, so, as you saw, it just did like a little multi-hit attack. On the ground, not very useful. It is safe on block. However, the only way you can combo after it is the super cancel. Uh, you can't do anything else but just super cancel it. However, in the air, you can follow it up. Phoenix is actually a very... But you can follow it up with a combo. You can do a max of... You can actually do... A, this is one of his mission mode combos. Is do three of them in the air. And obviously that's good because you want as many hits in your combo as possible. So you get all those hits. You get more experience when you take a picture. Let me get Phoenix out of here so she doesn't die. So that's his light tools of survival. His medium one. He swings a bat. On top of being a wall bounce as you saw. It's also a soft knockdown. So you can use it in the air. And they will fall all the way down. You can follow it up. I know there's also a ground juggle that you can do off of that, etc. So there are, it gives you some new combo opportunities. But that's that's it. It's not safe on block or anything. It's just it's a decent combo extender. Then you have this heavy one. That is an overhead as well as causing a ground bounce. However, the problem is, despite the fact that it's an overhead, you would think, oh, that just gave him some mix-up options, right? But not really. Because, as you can see, I'm just mashing on crouching light. Now I'm mashing on light. You can't follow it up in level one. The ground bounce is too small. They recover out of it too quickly. Um, so unfortunately, like the only way to follow it up is if you do it in the air. However, if you're in the air, there's no reason you get hit by an overhead because they should be blocking overhead. Uh, you can also add this basic breath. Like this is his easiest. Oops. This is his easiest bread and butter combo right here. Not his best one at level one, but it's just that's the easiest one to do to get the most hits off of. Um, so again, it's just a combo extender. So now you have his quarter circle back moves, his zombie throws. Now these you should be using in block strings. These are what you should use to end block strings because all of his uh, normals are unsafe. However, his zombie throws are safe. They are safe on block. They are very safe on block. They also have a lot of range. You can hit full screen with them. Um, and it's just, they're all pretty much the same. More or less it's just, you know, the light one is very fast, doesn't really do many hits, doesn't really do much damage. Medium one, a little bit slower, but does more hits and more damage. Heavy one, very slow, but does a lot more hits and more damage. Um, I really never used anything but the light one. You can follow all of them up. Why it's good to use the block strings is because you can follow every single one of them up for a full combo. Every single one of them you get a full combo off of. So, if somebody twitches and they end up getting hit by the zombie, you can follow that up. And it's plus it's safe on block, so there's really no reason not to use it. 
Um, so that's his quarter circle back moves. He also has charge moves. You just hold backwards for like two seconds. You throw a zombie. Oops. So as you can see, the medium one, faster than the light one. The heavy one, about the same speed as the medium. However, as you can see, it latches onto them. So you actually get, pre you can get a full combo off of it. However, those zombies are actually, they have hit boxes. Um, hurt boxes for you anal people. And they can be hit. So like, if they're, if they're running towards you, somebody can actually just jab them. And they'll just fall over and be ineffective. Unfortunately. Um, however, you can use this light one. It's a somewhat decent, like, you know, tool to, when you're advancing, to do various stuff off of, because it's very slow. So you can kind of use it as just cover to help him with his bad approach. And then he also has just a forward heavy projectile. Um, it gets better when he levels up. Level 1, it's pretty bad. It doesn't really have any durability whatsoever. It doesn't do much damage. Um, but again, it's a tool that he has. So, that is level 1 Frank. So, I'm just going to make sure that I don't miss anything. Alright. Oh, actually, well, I can mention this at level 2. It doesn't change. I did forget to mention his knee drop. You actually saw me use it. Uh, it's safe on block. However, it is very... Despite the fact that it's safe on block, look at that. When he whiffs it, as you can see, he kind of just like, you know, there's a lot of recovery to it. So, if you whiff that, you're probably going to get punished. Very easy to punish that on whiff. Uh, it causes a hard knockdown on hit. So you follow it up like that, or you follow it up with a camera shot. Unfortunately, in level 1 when you hit that, or level 2, he doesn't really have an effective way of picking that up, because, again, like I said, his uh, this move is his best OTG, to, for combo extension anyway, that he can follow up normally on his own. He can't do that in level 1 or 2. So, uh, it's not a great move to use, when you're a level 1 because you just get so little off of it, but it's a potential tool to use. Alright, so now he's at level 2. What does he get? The most important thing you need to know that he gets at level 2 is his roll. You do that by hitting any attack button plus S. So as you see, I'm just hitting S plus light there, S plus medium does the same thing. They're all the same. It's just, you know, whichever one you're most comfortable with hitting. Um, it is invincible from frame 1, so actually I'm, good. I'm glad they gave me strange as a character, because I can display this the best. So, for those of you that may have played str against strange players before, or like Hawkeye players, or Spencer players, people like to throw out moves that are very fast, but that are very unsafe. Like hypers, like, you know, as you saw, Spell of Ashanti, Gimlet, um, various beams, bionic arm, etc. People love that shit. If they do that against Frank, it doesn't work. As you can see, you just got right through it. Then you get a free punish, which is pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, it, actually, I really can't. I can do this with you, though. Like, if I'm right here, right? And somebody throws it out. Actually, I'm going to back up a little bit more, so I'm not positive on it. That's far enough. Aw, oh, really? It changes? That's a bummer. Oops. I hit the record button. It didn't start recording, though. Alright, so there we go. So now from about right here, same kind of deal. They throw out a random hyper. You try to roll. Oh, wow, we got through that. Holy crap. Egg on my face. Alright, so from right here then. Oh, I hit the wrong. God damn it, I'm so dumb. I apologize. This is very, this is very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. I even went and fucked up the hyper the first time there, too. So as you can see, you roll, it is possible to hit him out of the end of it. It's vulnerable at the end, it's not entirely safe, so you gotta be careful with it. It's not just an I win button, but it is very good, it also gives him an avenue of mix-ups, so let's say they're blocking your block strings. Oh, okay, well now we just got cross-up. So now he has cross-up mix-up, that's pretty damn good. Um, it also gives him a way to deal with push blocking, so now like if somebody push blocks you, you can like dash forward, roll real quick, etc. to get back in. And it's also a good uh, tool against zoning. You know, somebody's trying to hit you with, say, like, Taskmaster arrows or Hawkeye arrows. You can dash and then roll through them, etc. So it gives him a lot of new options that were otherwise inaccessible. His other new things, he gets access to a new set of special moves that are the Shoryuken motion. Uh, he has his light one, which is kind of like, it's just like a dodge. It's invincible for a little bit. However, I find the roll to be vastly more effective because the roll is, you can, you know, usually get a full punish off of 
this you can only uh, oops this you can only super cancel so um i mean like if you dodge you can just dodge something and throw out a super if you want but eh. then his medium one it does oops i need to work on my execution his medium one he throws out he does that it's a hard knockdown then, so we're going to do medium one again, his heavy one is an OTG, knocks them back up. You can use that as a combo extender. However, I would advise against using that up until he's level 5, because you want to be using this camera shot to get as much experience as possible as your OTG up until then. But still, it's there. The other thing that he gets, um, wait, shit, I'm trying to think. Alright, Spanger, so okay, so that's what he gets at level 2, I'm sorry. That's what he gets to level 2, so let's go ahead and get him to level 3 now. All of his normals and everything stay the same. Alright, so now we're level 3. Now his normals have changed up a bit. As you can see, instead of a plunger, he now has a broom. For everything that first required the plunger, he has a broom now. Um, he also... That has changed as well. He's now using an axe instead of a bat. Um, and as you can see, that's now causing a ground bounce. Regardless of whether you hit in the air or in the ground, that will cause a ground bounce. The other thing is, is heavy tool survival actually causes a real ground bounce now that you can follow up on your own. So you can actually, so you can use that as overhead mix up now as well, potentially. And you can also, instead of doing like the combo we were doing that entire time, you can just bring him back down with S, then that, etc. Follow it up like that. Um, but that's, oh, he also gets a new hyper at level three. Actually, two, he gets a new hyper, and his old hype, one of his old hypers changes. So his new hyper is a sure you can anti-air so as you see and you can also follow this up i will try and get the timing right i'll probably fuck it up though hey i didn't so then you can follow it up for a full combo right you can also mash it you can also well not mash it uh it's somewhat unique to this i think maybe hagar one of hagar's does it but as you see i'm getting more hits you just gotta you just gotta churn butter just spin the stick in the middle of it you get more hits however i would advise against doing that just due to the fact that um it actually hurts the rest of the combo's proration. You get less damage out of the rest of your hits. But still, uh, if you just want to like use that, if it's going to kill them, if you mash it out, might as well. Um, the other thing that changes is Quarter Circle Back Hyper is now invincible. So if we remember about right here, is where the roll distance will not get past Reuse Hyper. Well, now he throws it out. He's invincible, and he will get through that. And that also beats a lot of other invincible supers, like it'll beat Bionic Arm, it'll beat, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's very good now that that's invincible, because now you can actually, you know, if you're too far away, you can just get through it with that. Um, so that's what he gets at level 3. So now let's go ahead and move on to level 4. I really need to learn better combos. See, we all need to learn, we all need to learn stuff. There's never a point when you don't need to still learn stuff, or work on stuff. So... Level 4. This is ideally where you would love to actually, well, ideally you would love to have a level 5. I, this is where you would be falling in love with Frank. Many of his normals have now changed. He now has a chainsaw for his medium normals and his heavy normals. Well, not his, his crouching heavy still stays the same. But the biggest change is his jumping mediums. Like that. They have humongous hitboxes now fantastic space control it does hit behind him as well so i mean there's just like if you're looking at the screen right now just about 50 percent of it you know pretty much like about 20 percent of it to the back and about 30 percent of it to the front is now franks to control you just those chainsaws have fantastic hit boxes you can hit confirm because this s still does the ground bounce um etc and you know also that has changed now does more damage this is no longer a soft knockdown. It's now a hard knockdown, as you just saw. Uh, that does change. Eventually, well, it's the same thing with pretty much every single knockdown move in this game. Once you get far enough into a combo, it no longer does that. This is no exception. Uh, one of the combos I actually tried to do, uh, tried to do two of these in the same combo, and the second one doesn't cause a knockdown. So, but anyway, um, so those are that's his biggest change at level four. Is just you know his new normals. That's pretty much really all you need to know about level 4 is his normals have become great and the best part is that um because of that he now has access to instant overheads i believe ryu is actually just a little i don't never mind he's not he now has access to instant overheads if i could get them right so now he has like real mix-up that he can do on his own 
he has to make something he can do on his own now. He doesn't need an assist to, you know, run cross-up mix-up or anything like that. He can do this all on his own. Um, so I'm trying to think of anything else that I might need to know about level 4 Frank. I mean, this is height dependent as you, you know, I'm trying to think. I think Phoenix is actually probably... Yeah. See, like, how I'm just completely whiffing her every single time? Now, there are, I mean, there are some characters that you just cannot hit. You just can't instant overhead them. Um, there are some characters where it's just tighter timing, and there are some characters that are just big enough that you just hit the button, whatever the hell you want, and it'll hit. Um, so, I'm trying to think, I believe, other than, oops, I did not want the charge move. This projectile, as you can see, look how much damage that's doing. That's doing 100,000 damage now. Oops, goddamn charge moves. This is now doing 100,000 damage. It has a lot more durability to it. It's a fantastic move. Now, it's actually a good projectile. You can actually kind of use this as somewhat decent zoning. And as you see, it actually has pretty damn good hit stun to it as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. So now, that's pretty much level 4 Frank. And oh, also, this, as you can see, now causes a massive ground bounce. Like, you can now follow it up with other things too as well. Like, other fancy stuff that I missed. Like that. I mean, you know, it gives him new combo opportunities. Test that shit out. Alright, so let's go ahead and get her the hell out of here so I can do a combo and level him up to level 5. I'm going to try to get fancy a little bit. Kind of, sort of. Oh, the fanciness did not pay off. So I get... Oh my god, I didn't even give him a level. Really? There we go. Alright, now he's level 5. As you can see, he's glowing now. He now has a 10% damage boost to every single move he does. As you see, that just did 52,800 damage. His his standing light normally does 48,000. Easy math to do. Um, so that, I mean, that's really all that changes. All of his normals are still the same as they were at level 4. All of his moves are still the same at level 4. He just does more damage now. Uh, also, one thing you need to know, each time he levels up, he'll actually get back a portion of his red health. Um, he just heals a little bit. So... That's basically all of Frank's leveling up stuff in a nutshell. So, what are effective ways to level him up? Well, one of which, you see, as you see, I kind of got a team going on here. One of which is through the use of hypers like Nova. I know Scrolls Inferno is also the same as the one you're about to see here. I'm just going to do a very, very simple combo for you guys. Instant level 5. Very easy level 5. Off of any Nova hit confirm, you can do that. Um, the reason that works is because, for whatever reason, the properties of Nova's Nova Force, or Super Scrolls Inferno, is that for like about the first, probably about 80% of the move, every single hit results in a hard knockdown. If you DHC it too late, they'll flip out and you won't get a picture at all. Um, but however, it's pretty, I mean, just with like a little, very little bit of practice, you'll learn the timing on it. And as you see, scroll also, if you, you know, Scroll can also do the assist thing and get him to instant level 5 as well. So, that is my preferred method. I actually used Nova Frank. Uh, well, I used Nova Frank. Um, so that's my preferred method. Another method is, as you can see, I got Dante in here. I'll try to do this. I may fuck it up. We'll see. Well, I already did. I already fucked it up. Maybe. Damn it, I did. Sorry, I forgot I forgot to put him in the right order. My bad. Okay, well you can't say I don't use Dante Frank, but you can catch them with another picture while they're in jam session. You get level five off of that as well. Um so again, you know, that's a very effective method. The reason why I don't like it is that like you know if you end up if you do this uh, in the corner. I don't like it if you do it in the corner, or I don't like it because if you do it in the corner... Oh wow, Frank actually didn't hit. Okay, so never mind. Ignore me. I thought that always hit when they were in the corner. Alright, never mind. Ignore me. That's a great method as well, as long as you time it correctly. If you time it wrong, uh, you'll actually hit them with that uh, with Frank's, which obviously you don't want. So, that's just a matter of timing. I know, again, another character that can do that does like the same kind of flip thing that you get out of Dante's gun is Rocket Raccoon's Rock and Roll Hyper. Um, I know there are other ways that, like, you can actually hard tag Frank in. A couple that I've heard of are using, um, Jill's, well, what do they say? You use Jill's arrow kick into, like, her dive move 
And off of that, you can hard tag Frank in and get a picture. Um, off of Iron Fist, like Iron Fist Crumple, or actually Nova's Crumple would probably work as well. Uh, you can tag them in. Let me. See. I'm trying to think of other things that you can do off of hard tags. I mean, you could do it off of like She Hulk's Dizzy, but then you'd only get like one hit. So, well, you get a full Frank combo, I guess. But anyway, so all that aside, another method is uh, obviously Team Aerial combos. I don't really like that because you can break those pretty easily, but whatever. Um, another method is to use, like, if you have Frank on point or you DHC to Frank, whatever, etc. If you have a character like Dante, who has a power-up hyper, you can hard tag Frank back in. Oops, okay, just pretend I took a picture there. And you can take a picture off of that, off of the knockdown off of that. So you can do that the same thing with, like, you know, Firebrand's Luminous Body, uh, Wolverine's Berserker Charge, etc. That is another method of doing it. So, I mean, like, that's just, there are a ton of various ways that you can use to level Frank up without having to have Frank on point. And that's just, you know, obviously it's a good idea because level 4 Frank, level 4 slash 5 Frank, one of the best characters in the game. Level 1 Frank, one of the worst characters in the game. So, uh, just, you know, experiment with that to try and find your own preferred method. Um, so anyway, so teams you should build around Frank, I mean, really, once you get to level 4 or 5 Frank, any assist that you have behind him is basically just, you know, it's there to just make him even better. He doesn't need anything. Obviously, everybody benefits from a projectile assist, um, but he doesn't need it to get in anymore. He doesn't really need... I mean, like I said, anything is pretty much just like combo extension or to help his already good mix-up become even better. He doesn't really need anything. So, you can pretty much just... As long as you have a way to level him up effectively, you can use whoever the hell you want as a third character. Um, so, yeah. Frank West. That's my tutorial. Hope it helped you. Uh, if I, like forgot anything or could do something better in future tutorials by all means please let me know because i want these to be uh you know good i want them to help people i'm not doing this just to like float my own boat i want these to actually help people get better etc so if there's something that you think i can do to make these better by all means please tell me so i can make them better and so it can make you better so nate out hope this helped y'all and I will be doing more in the future.